Dear Weatherby, I want a seven millimeter. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to go over my wish list for Weatherby on their next cartridges that they could possibly release. And I'm going to rank them, basically start with the cartridges I think they would least likely would ever release to ones that are actually very plausible that could be their next cartridges. So let's see my list. The first on the wish list, and probably the least likely Weatherby would ever create it, is a 22378 Weatherby. So this is a 378 Weatherby case. You can basically neck it down to 22 caliber, like you see next to it, the 223 or 556. Now, this has been done before in a Wildcat by P.O. Ackley in the 50s. And the name that P.O. Ackley named it, kind of a funny one, and I might butcher it, but it was basically the Eager Splitten Loudon Boomer cartridge. And again, all it is is a 378 Weatherby case necked up to 22 caliber. And I think due to limitations on powder, um, they were only able to get 4,500 feet per second with a 55 grain bullet. But, you know, fast forward to 2022, I think using a smaller bullet like a 35 grain with a much longer barrel, 5,000 feet per second is probably pretty attainable. Now, if Weatherby ever sold a rifle with this, I would hope that they would provide a extra barrel for when after about 100 rounds you burn out your barrel. But uh, it's kind of fun to think about and go for it, Weatherby. So I recently purchased a 257 Weatherby, and this is what's in front of me as a 257. Absolutely love it. Extremely fast, extremely flat, and it is the fastest 257 caliber cartridge in a factory offering. However, there is a Wildcat that beats this. It's the 257 STW. And basically, just think of a 7mm STW case neck down to 25 caliber. It's ridiculous. So, next on my wish list from Weatherby, you're going to see a theme here. The 257-378 Weatherby. So, Weatherby can just take the velocity record back from the 25 calibers, including the Wildcats. And in my estimates... I think you could get 4,000 feet per second with a 100 grain bullet in a 257-378 Weatherby, which I'm going to show you the ballistics real quick. It's got to be, if it's not the flattest cartridge in the world, it would be one of the flattest. So let me show you the ballistics. Okay, this is some crazy ballistics. So using a 101 grain Barnes LRX with a BC of 0.400. But you're going at 4,000 feet per second. Check out the energy. It's 3589. And honestly, I kind of guessed on the recoil. So could be more. It is a ginormous case. And then let's just take this out to 400 yards. Bull is still going a little bit below 3,000 feet per second. Incredible. Energy, again, it's going to lose a lot of energy just because uh, it doesn't have that IBC bullet. But check out the drop. That's zeroed at 100. Only 12.6 inches of drop when zeroed at 100. That is ridiculous. And even out to 500 yards, you're still going to have more than 1,500 foot-pounds and only 24 inches of drop at 500. So pretty crazy. Uh, don't think this is going to happen just because of how short the barrel life would be, but Boy, would it be a sweet cartridge. Okay, I have two more cartridges on my wish list for Weatherby. And we're now getting into cartridges that could actually be made by Weatherby. That maybe they'll listen. Who knows? So, we just don't have a lot of 35 caliber cartridges. You know, the 35 Whalen is starting to see a real big comeback. Especially in the south. And it's a wonderful cartridge. It's just a 30-06 necked up to 35. And then what seems to be the most powerful 35 caliber cartridge is the 358 Norma Magnum. And basically what it is is, well, 
neck down 375 H and H shortened to almost fit a standard length action. It does actually fit a standard length action. So let's just get again the 378 Weatherby case and uh, neck it down to 35 caliber. And boy, are you going to have a screamer in the 35 caliber. Let me show you the ballistics. Now here we are with the 35 378 Weatherby with a 225 grain Acubond. And the velocity, again, I'm kind of guessing on this, so give or take 100 feet per second. So I wouldn't be surprised if you could only get like 3,300 feet per second. But still, 5,776 foot-pounds of energy for this 35 caliber Magnum. Crazy amount of energy. And despite the 35 calibers just not having any high BC bullets, just check out the energy. Um, at 400 yards, it has the energy of a 30-06 out of the muzzle. So this thing would be extremely good um, as a dangerous game cartridge uh, where it literally could hunt anything with this cartridge. And even with the low BC bullets, look at the drop. That's flatter than a lot of popular cartridges like the 7mm rim mag or the 300 wind mag. It's just crazy. This thing would be an amazing 35 caliber cartridge. And at number one on my wish list, and I think is the cartridge that would be most likely to be made by Weatherby, is this classic of a cartridge. This is a 300 Weatherby. Neck it down to seven millimeter, and suddenly you have an absolute crazy high velocity high BC, just awesome cartridge. So in perspective, right here is a 28 nozzler. And so you can squeeze out a little bit more velocity from the 300 Weatherby case compared to the 28 nozzler case. I would say anywhere from 50 to 100 feet per second more. And I just wanna show you the ballistics of the seven millimeter 300. And this would be with a 175 grain Acubon long range. And so if Weatherby made another 7 millimeter, I would hope that they would put like a 1 and 8 twist. And it would just be an absolute screamer, as you can see here. A 175 grain, I think you could most likely get 32, 50 feet per second, which your energy is 4,100 foot-pounds. So this thing does beat the 28 nozzler. And look at that, 400 yards. Only 18.9 inches of drop. Again, pretty flat. And then look how far you have to go before you even hit 1,500 foot-pounds. 900 yards. By the way, this is a pretty popular Wildcat cartridge, the 7mm 300 Weatherby. Uh, so it's not doing anything really new, but if it was offered in a factory cartridge, that would just be more sweet. Again, 7 millimeters, I think, are going to be taking off with the 7 millimeter PRC being released and the 7 millimeter 08 becoming much more popular. So, Weatherby, let's get on this one.